Hi traders, Dale Pickard here. You could find me on Twitter at Forex Stop Hunter. Also facilitating and hosting a free trading room at Forex Analytics called FACE, which is Forex Analytics Community Experience. You could find the link to get in on Twitter under my handle. I'm starting off with the U.S. dollar. Uh, we had that up day late last week to take us out of what looks like a descending triangle to the upside, which is a bit unusual since descending triangles are normally negative or reversal formations, uh, descending meaning down. So here we are with the dollar right back to the breakdown after taking it out. Uh, I still think there's a chance if we get another run to the downside in the dollar, uh, taking out 97.50, 55 uh, should get us back into threatening breakout territory over 97.80. Uh, Euro is acting better than cable. In fact, uh, very constructive on the Euro pound. I'll cover that tomorrow. Not sure if that's going to work because of more weakness in cable on the way down when the dollar's rallying or during this phase if there's a correction in the dollar and euro outperforms to the upside. But like EG and thinking dollar is a very critical week for it to see whether or not we're just going to head up and break out to the upside or there's one more detour to the downside. I favor option B. Now, I talked about that there were a ton of buy stops over 64, 65. That's a green line that you see on the WTI chart. So uh, the news that we're going to have no waivers on countries buying oil from Iran was definitely the catalyst today that took us out over the top of the range. As you can see, if you look at the bottom of the chart compared to what was happening all around the 8th or 9th of April, a few weeks ago when we were making that high, RSI is not confirming. Uh, we have a pretty glaring divergence right here. We don't have it quite yet on the one hour, so looking for that to marry up. And looking for turnaround Tuesday shorts. I probed a little bit today. Maybe as high as 66.20 or so. I'm going to be probing it. Now, something you do know looking at crude now is back under that breakout of that rectangle under 64.60. Uh, then a negated breakout would also be the first indication that there's something wrong with this bull run in crude. And, you know, you always get the most bullish news at the top. We've had a $24 rally in crude since January, and now we're getting this bullish news about Iran. Makes me skeptical. Also, viewers, listeners know I've been looking for I'm bearish copper, looking for shorting opportunities that appeared against my line last week. I talked around 299 to 301. We're already trading the dime underneath it. I uh, believe that any rallies, is if we could get uh, some type of risk on move, which could happen back to 295, I would look to be a seller. In copper, I have much lower objectives. I think taking out the lows that you see back Towards the left-hand side of the chart on the 25th of March, about 283, is going to open the door for a lot lower, all the way down towards 265. So remain negative. Copper looking for shorts in the crude tomorrow and the dollar to make up its mind. Remember, don't just count your pips, count your blessings, and see you tomorrow. Dale Pinkert at Forex Stop Hunter. I know where your stops are.